Hello. Hello. Good, Good evening, evening, sir. Hello. Good evening. How is everyone? Good evening. How are you? Good. Bert, is San Miguel hot today? It's not very hot, hot, hot like yesterday, no, right? No, no. It rained yesterday uh, after the night. It's, it's okay. You know, it's not, it's not hot, but it's not that cold. That's no, it's it's not was. cold. <laughs> San Miguel is never cold. It's, it's, it's warm. Maybe it's warm. It's not hot. <clears throat> So San Salvador is never cold either. <laughs> yeah. I live there, remember? No but, no, but you know, sometimes, sometimes it has been cold. How many degrees? I I don't know very much about Celsius. I'm more Fahrenheit. But there are some, but not, not, but this year, maybe two or three times in the morning, yes, I have put a, a, a sweater. And, and I am... But, uh, how Only many in the degrees? Morning. Because I, I I live in San Salvador, and the lower temperature I remember is eighteen degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not that cold. No, I mean, it's, it's not. not cold. It's something like I don't know how to say fresco, but no it's, cold, it's co but not hot. Fresco is cool. Cool. <laughs> okay. Have, cool. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen your refrigerator? Sometimes it says cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's what cool means. All right. Hi, Claudia. How are you? Hi. Hello. I'm doing well. Okay. Two <laughs> Claudias. <laughs> yes. All right. And Jonathan and Angela. Hi, Angela. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Hi Angela. Hi. Today you have your uniform. Yes. Evening. Uniform the my walk. From my work. Nice color. Yes. Yeah, nice colors. It's, it's blue. <laughs> it's blue, yes. Yes. All right. Jonathan, how are background? you? Yeah, that's, cool. teacher. <laughs> that's cold. I wish I was there, <laughs> but it's impossible. Have you ever experienced cold? Well, I think in Los Naranjos is really cold, or Santiago de Maria, or Berlin. Mm, I remember one there, time I was a little kid. 10 degrees, I think 10 degrees or less. I remember one time I was a little kid in the United States, and do you know what is a sprinkler? Do you know what a sprinkler is? Not really. Okay, a, a sprinkler is no. like your front yard or patio, and something pops up and then it throws water. Water. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I remember one time it was so cold that the water froze. So can you imagine? I remember I cut the water from the sprinkler. That was below zero, right? I yes, I don't remember. I I, I was I was a little kid, but I, I I always remember that because I had I don't know a shirt, a sweater, a jacket, a hood. I I was I was walking like a Teletubi because it was so so cold. All right, let me see. Let me share my screen with you. All done. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, did you? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. okay, let's start with friends and family.
So it says, at the end of this class, participants will be able to use verbs followed by gerunds and infinitives. Okay, what is a gerund? The verb with ing, correct? Yes, teacher. Drink, drinking. What is an infinitive? To drink. To drink. To drink. To drink, good. To go. So let's watch. Just other ways to use gerunds. A gerund why, is why is this so advanced? This is lesson one, correct? I think it's yes, advanced sir. two. And that is advanced one, I think. I don't know. Yes, it's something strange. Yes. Here, let me check one more time. Hold on. Yes, we're advanced too, correct? Hello? Hello, teacher. Yes. Hi, okay. Hold on. Hello. Hold on. When do we finish? One. We finish on the 22nd. Excuse me, let me check something. Why isn't... Give me one second. I want to check something here real quick. So we are in Inglés Avanzado Modulo 2. Yeah, yes. we're, we're Modulo 2. Modulo 2. Okay, so I think the dates were wrong. That's why. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 You see, somebody did all this already. I don't know why. So lesson objective. Do you see all this check in green? Yes, teacher. It's like yes. so, somebody, yes. did them. somebody did them for me and we haven't even started. But that, okay. So never mind. So we're at Modulo 2, okay, and Lesson objective, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use it and practice the infinitive and gerund phrases. Let's see how that is. Welcome to Advanced Module 2. In our first topic, we'll go over infinitive and gerund phrases. We have studied this before, but don't worry, we'll explain it again so you feel comfortable with it. It plus be plus adjective or noun plus infinitive phrase is often used to comment on behavior. These sentences can also be restated with gerund phrases. It's rude to ignore your conversation partner. It's a good idea to try out different topics. Ignoring your conversation partner is rude. Trying out different topics is a good idea. The word considered may also follow be in this kind of sentence. It's considered impolite to interrupt people. Interrupting people is considered impolite. 
These sentences can also include the phrase for plus person or pronoun. It's customary for the complementary to say nice things about others. Saying nice things about others is customary for the complementary. We will begin our explanation by reminding you that gerunds and infinitives are both verbals. In other words, verbals are words formed from a verb but functioning as a different part of a speech, usually a noun. Gerunds are formed adding an ing ending and infinitives are composed of to plus a verb. In the structure just presented above, it becomes the subject of the sentence in the infinitive phrase. And ignoring, trying out, interrupting, and saying are gerunds acting as subjects as well. Notice there's no changing meaning. Look at the following chart. Read it and decide whether they are using infinitive or gerund phrases. Okay, let's practice a little bit about this using an infinitive. Let's do something with it is. It is, then we need an adjective and then the uh, infinitive. Let me give you an example, okay? It is bad. Is bad an adjective? Yes. Ba okay, thank you. So it is bad to drink cold water after drinking chuko. Yes. Yes. Yes, do you understand? Yes. Yes. So, yes. so what was it? It is bad. Bad is the adjective. It is bad to drink. There's the infinitive. It is bad to drink cold water after drinking hot chuko. It depends. Why? Why it depends? I I can drink a uh, chuko or sopa, and after that, drink water, and nothing happened. <laughs> well, you know, you know, may, maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. Can you tell me something that it is bad with an infinitive? Is bad to drink uh, a lot of Coca Cola. Okay, good. It is bad to drink a lot of Coca Cola. Nice. All right, Claudia, can you give me an example? No more drink. Use any other verb. Any example you want. Which Claudia? Uh, I'm sorry, Claudia, hit on. <laughs> okay. It is bad to watch. Uh... TV when the light is turned off. Okay, when the light is off, it's bad to watch it. Why? Yeah, mm, because your eyes receive all the light. Okay, good. Hey, that's true. Jonathan, can you give me an example? It's bad to stay awake. Um, for me to sí, stay, sí. Up, stay for awake me... es desvelarse. Me ¿Mm? pregunto si así se dice desvelarse. Stay awake. No, stay awake all night. Stay awake all night. All night, yes. It is bad to stay awake all night. Okay, good. It is bad. All right. Angel, Angela de Jesus, give me an example with not is it is bad. Give me an example with it is good. It's good uh, drinking what? No, we're doing drink, gerunds. We're, we're doing gerunds. I'm sorry. We're okay. doing infinitives. Uh, it's good uh, drinking. Uh, drinking is a gerund. Drink Excuse me, Angela. Drinking is a gerund. We're doing infinitive. To drinking. No, to drink. To drink. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Okay, can you repeat, please? Is it good to drink a word? Excellent, yes. Okay. Angelica Lasso, give me an example with it is good. Uh, it is good to do exercise early in the morning. Okay. And do you know it is bad to do exercise at night? Yes, because uh, exercise gives you more strength. I don't know how to say it, but it gives you a lot of energy. Yes, so you can't sleep. You're like, whoa. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. All right. Dennis Rosales, give me an example with it's dangerous. Okay. I think that, um, let's see. It's not good to drink too much beer. No, but listen, it's dangerous. The adjective is dangerous. Okay. It's dangerous to drink um, more drink, more beers than recommended, maybe. Okay. <laughs> what is the recommended number of beers? <laughs> I think that six, six okay. beers. Yes. No more. Oh, oh well, let, let me change my, my sentence. No, no, it's, it's a good example, but you can also say it's dangerous to drink beer excessively. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous to drink beer and drive. Ah, exactly. I have to say that I have given that sentence, the drive with. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> sorry. I going to tell that example, the driving it's not, it's bad driving. Uh, with drinking uh, dangerous. No, you say uh, it, it, uh, it, it is bad. <laughs> it is bad to drink and drive. And that, that's right. Repeat, please. Okay, it's, it's bad uh, drink. To drink. And, to drink and drive. Exactly. It is bad to drink and drive. It is bad and it is stupid. For herself or for other people too? For, for everybody. Because imagine you have an accident, but sometimes only not you is the accident. You can kill somebody innocent. Yes. It's very sad. Yes. That's why every time, every time I watch the news, for example, Monday morning, every Monday morning, you turn on the news, you know, like, you know, I don't know, 70 or 70 or Saturday at three in the morning and the car opened, you control. Oh, that's a lie. They were drunk and they were driving. Mm. Yes, don't have control with the car and um, go really fast and lose control the the drive the yes. car. Sorry, mm -hmm. that's true. Okay, and Claudia Hiron, can you tell me something about about a relation? Tell me something good about or something bad about a relation. Sometimes uh, when they are older, they don't have time to go out or something like that. No, it's but give me an example. So in a, rela in a relation, what is something good or something bad? Something good is to to have someone to share time, to share okay. the things that they like each each one. And okay. mm -hmm. 
something bad is sometimes uh, they don't have the same the same things that they like. For example, they have different um, kind of gustos, likes. Taste. Mm -hmm. Different taste. Okay, so it is yeah. good. It is good to. It is good to have a good communication in a relation. Mm, yes. And it is bad to have different tastes. Yes. But sometimes it's, it's good to have different tastes. Sometimes, yes, but sometimes 50 50. 50 50, yes. All right, good. <laughs> Dal Dalila, hi. Hi. If I am going to go to to the volcano, I'm going to hike. Hike the volcano. Do you know what is hike? Uh, I think so. Is uh, escalar? Yes. Can you give me? Can you tell me something good or something important? Okay. It is good to bring a lot of water. Good. But in this yeah. case, in this case, it is good to take. To a take. Lot of water. Okay, to take a lot of water. Okay, do you, yeah, that's true. Do you like to hike? Yes, I am not an expert, but I have hiked twice the, um, the volcano from Santa Ana in Isalco, oh, and really? I enjoy, I enjoy the, the experience. Oh, okay, good. But I, I'm not good. <laughs> so you know, in my case, I don't like outdoors, Our outdoor activities. I don't like. Uh, my wife, she loves out. Do you know what is outdoor activity? Activities in the exterior, exteriors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, outdoor. You know, activities like going to the mountains, going hiking, camping. I don't like that. I always imagine a snake. Imagine you're you're. You're walking in the volcano and you see a snake. Oh my God, no. But what about the beach? But actually, if you think about it, the beach is really not an outdoor activity. Because you go to the, I mean, depending, depends because if you surf, that is, uh, what, what activity is that? The adrenalina, no, it's. What is the word? Extreme sport. That is an extreme sport. If you surf. But if you go to the beach, uh, like as a vacation, really, you don't do an activity on the beach. All you do is go and eat in a restaurant and maybe go in the water. But, but for example, when you go to the mountains, you go hiking. Sometimes you sleep there. Can you imagine you're sleeping in a spider? Kim Foot Seven Kings, Jason Maras. Jason Maras, the que canta la canción. Um, well, I dun, 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 no, come on, kiss I'm yours. Well, I don't care too much. Don't care. Well, he, he sings this famous song. And he was in Costa Rica and he was climbing. He went to the mountains and he disappeared. And I think he had an accident with a snake. You know, yeah, no lo encontraba. Mm. Jonathan, can you tell me something interesting? 
interesting about downtown San Salvador? It's interesting to to see historical. Mm, Centro histórico. Yeah, it's interesting to see downtown San Salvador. Okay. Okay, class. So do you understand that it is an adjective and infinitive, right? Yes, teacher. Do you know that in El Salvador it is bad, it is considered bad to say pendejo, correct? But in Argentina, it's okay. But it is sometimes it is okay to say maje. Yes. And it's the same meaning. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> but like in Argentina, saying pendejos, like we say, vení mono. Este mono. <laughs> so, Ahí hay, un, ahí hay un, un choque cultural interesante porque pueden decir, hey, do you know that it is okay to say, excuse me, I'm sorry, class, but in El Salvador, it is okay to say polla. Pollo, polla, right? <laughs> it, it, it is okay, but it's not okay to say that in Spain because they go, Yes. Um, Angelica. Angelica. Hello. Hi. In El Salvador culture, what is something that it is not considered polite? Mm, it's not considered polite. Mm. I think talk to the, how do you say, ancianos? I don't know, is older people? Advanced, okay, um, yeah, old people. Uh, old people to talk like, uh, no using don or doña, uh, only telling his, or hair's name. I don't know if I explain. <laughs> I understand. So this is what you want to say. So in El Salvador, it's not polite. Repeat. In El Salvador, it's not polite. To call. To call. An old person. An old person. By the name only. By the name only. You have to say Don or Nina. Uh huh. Yeah. That's strange, huh? Nina. Nina Cata. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, once uh, in a work, uh, I called by her name and she was like, <gasps> Why do you call me like that? Oh my God, you are so irrespectful to me. And I like, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> well, you know, but it's strange because now I am at the age when people, when little, what young people call me, senor, don't. And, and, and it feels very strange. Okay. But... When I meet young people and they call me that, weird, you know, I, it's a big yes. So I, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I am, I am, I am in that stage where the two are offensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think when you are old, 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 only one offensive. Excuse me, don't. But uh -huh. now, now I get offended if somebody calls me Don or if somebody only calls me by their first name. So I don't know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I understand that <laughs> yes um who has not spoken Allison 
Hi, teacher. Hi, can you tell me something that is considered is not polite to ask a woman? Uh, it's not polite to ask to ask about the age. Good. It's not polite to ask about the age to a woman. Okay, so do you understand? So listen, it's good to, it's bad to, it's dangerous to, it's necessary to, and then the infinitive, correct? Now let's do the gerund only. And let's start with Allison. So Allison, your example was, it's not polite to ask a woman her age. Yes. So to ask, can you can you say what is the gerund of to ask? Asking. So can you tell me that same story but using a gerund? Um, asking a woman. Asking a woman the age is not polite. Excellent. Asking a woman her age is not polite. Her age. Okay. Um, Dennis, I believe drinking and driving is not a good idea. Yeah, that's true. I yes. agree. Yes, but do you see how I changed to drink and to drive to uh, using gerunds? Yeah, yeah. All right. I see it. All right. I'm sorry, Bert. What was your example? Uh, it was about to drink more beers than recommending. I used that. Oh word. yes. Yeah. Drinking excessively is not good. Uh -huh. Exactly. All right. Uh, Bert, what was your example? Mm, I have several examples. But the last, uh, to, it's, dangerous to be, it's dangerous to be possessive and jealous when you're talking about relationship. Oh, OK, good. <laughs> Can you do that in Jaren? Yeah, being possessive and jealous is dangerous. Is dangerous. That uh, yes, I think dangerous is the best adjective for that. Do you like possess? Yeah, I hate possessive people. I'm possessive. I'm jealous. <laughs> you That's are. Why I'm saying, yes, I am. I mean, honestly, I am so possessive and so jealous. I'm sick. <laughs> You're you are toxic. <laughs> yeah, I'm toxic like the Britney Spears toxic. Yeah, I'm tired. You know that song, the lyric. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you know, one good thing, you admit it. So that's good. Yeah. I believe that if you if you have a reason to be jealous. Okay. But you know, I have been married 10 years. And I have been with my wife maybe 15 years. And I think constant communicating is the formula to have a good relation. Because the first, second, third, fourth year when I was angry with my wife, I would be quiet and wait for her, but I may ask the pass, I go, no, or vice versa. And you say, no, that's not the best way. The best way is when you don't like something in that moment, say it. So, but in your case, Bert, you are jealous and possessive. Yes, yes I'm so toxic. And I also had a, uh, this is uh, this is a personal opinion. And this mm -hmm. is dangerous to play with, with a pit bull or a dog. I think I don't like playing with any kind of dog because I don't like it. I mean, this is a personal with, idea. I'm sorry, with any kind of dog. I mean, especially the pig bull. Oh, okay. Most people love this this kind of dog. I mean, races. But I don't like them. I mean, so I think it's dangerous to play with with them with people. Okay. Yes. So um, playing with people is dangerous. That's yes, what it's I mean. true. Oh, okay. Yes, it's true. But on this race. Race is only for humans. Really? How? how uh -huh. I don't know how to say. I mean, uh, 
How do you say that for animals? Excellent. Here, let me put it on the chat. Hold on. All right. For, for animals is breed. Do you see the chat? Yeah, breed. Mm -hmm. So when people say, oh, I have a dog. Oh, what breed is your dog? Oh, he's a chihuahua. He's a pit bull. He's a Doverman. He's a boxer. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. With that, uh, I listen to some people saying, I'm breeding a child. Is that an insult or, or no? Yes, because you don't breed a child, you, you raise a child. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, so do you understand? Yes. Jonathan, what do you think is the best combination for drinking with pupusas? Mm. For me, it's drinking cola champagne with cheese pupusas. Okay, good. So drinking cola champagne with pupusas is, is the best formula. Good. For me, it's drinking a good cup of coffee or hot chocolate with pupusas. But for me, drinking beer and pupusas is not, it's, it's not very recommended. Okay, so. Let's continue with the vid. Okay, so everybody understands. Do you have questions? So another example uh, can be driving to excessive velocity is dangerous. Yes. Yes. Um, Dennis, where do you live? Uh, I live in San Martin City. San Martin. And Jonathan, where do you live? San Martin. Near, right? Yes. Uh, what is the name of your neighborhood? Jonathan? San, Santa Elena. Santa Elena. And you, Dennis? <laughs> uh, San, uh, Colonia Rosalinda is in the, uh, how do you say? Uh, uh, El, Centro? El Centro? Downtown. Downtown. So, so remember the exception that the in this situation in El Salvador. So before Dennis is from Rosalinda and Jonathan is from Santa Elena, were those enemies? I don't know. <laughs> in the in the gangs vocabulary, yes. we may say were they letters or or or, or numbers? Uh, oh, okay. He, okay. Yeah, here they used to be uh, numbers. I think that it was the same because a few few months ago I went to Santa Elena. It's not that far. I think that is like three kilometers. And someone told me that the, the person that I was that I was going there with told me, "Don't worry, they they are the same." If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but, okay. Jonathan, you may say you you have you may know, right? Yes. Excuse me, numbers, numbers is 18. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's un tema muy caliente today in, in present time yeah. because like when you go to an Uber, you tell this on me, oh man, yeah, the exception that right now is good. I live here and before it was impossible to go here <laughs> you know um it is true because uh my husband he lived before on sayapango and their parents uh, live far away of the downtown but in sayapango 
and uh, it was dangerous to visit. Uh, his uh, old parents, grandparents, my, sorry. <laughs> my my wife, she has an aunt or, or I don't know, something is something related to her mother. And this woman lived in Soyapango. And in in front of her house, across the street was Super Selectos. Imagine. And she couldn't go. She couldn't go to that Super Selectos. Only one time I yeah, visited. I, 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 I think it's the same song, but... Uh, Los Santos. Something yeah. like that. And I remember uh, I told her. Margaritas? <laughs> yeah, I think I think it, it, Super Selectos is in a corner, right? Yeah, it's in okay. the corner of my uh, in the entrance of Margaritas. Yeah, so one day I, we went to a piñata, right? I'm like, hey, so, no yellow, we eat or that's super. No, you can't go there. Why? She used to, and I was going to go walking. They they could, but it, it was dangerous. <laughs> yes. So, so. Now you say before, okay, where I live, before it was considered dangerous to cross the street. Now it's okay. Before my neighborhood was considered enemy of Jonathan's neighborhood. But now it's over. You see how you use infinitives? And Jaren's? Yes, I'm noticed. Okay. All right, so let's do... do, 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 do. The next part. So instructions, it says, rewrite the sentence using infinitive or Jaren phrases. Remember to use capital letters and periods. It's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. Um, talking about politics at work or school, it's appropriate? It's not. It's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. Okay. Also, this would be like this. Me han quien tocó mi teclado. Ah, bro. It's not appropriate to talk about politics at work or school, correct? <clears throat> Using certain gestures is impolite in some foreign countries. Using certain gestures it's impolite. You know what? Let's do this. So it says using certain gestures. What is cer certain gestures? Do you understand what a gesture is? Gesto or the man. I will say that is uh, expression with with the only with the face, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that include uh, the hands, like aha, uh -huh, exactly, or what is this? The, the, the in, middle. In, in Salvador, this gesture is two things. What is this? It may be rock, you rock, or it may be the gangs, right? The gangs, gangs sign, right. exactly. Yes. So now using this gesture is a little dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little confusing. It, it, can, it, it, it has consequences. Nah. I'm not sure if, if you see uh, there, there was a new that, that uh, the people was using about the, the about the, El Ministro de Hacienda, you know, uh, I think that he was in a concert and he was doing this. And the people started using that picture and it was a, an old picture. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, he was yeah. very young. But, you know, there's a big difference of doing that. I mean, in the Scorpion yeah. concert, uh, exactly. like doing that. But they start saying that that he was he was a gang. He was a gang. Doing that. Yeah, yeah. And he was very stupid. But, you know, it is dangerous because if you are you are sharing news with other people and maybe all people or, or people that doesn't know about about this, they are going to say quickly they are going to say he is a gang or he used to be a gang and now he's a minister so yeah it do, may be do you know the story of this yeah of course what is the story it it was about it, it who started with this uh, the name is Ronnie James Dio if i'm not mistaken from black sabbath and from black sabbath exactly he used to say that his grandma used used to do this and it was because she she used to say that it was against uh, the devil. bad spirit or bad spirit. the devil bad spirits, and he used to say, "Hey, stay away from me," something like that. Yes. So now the people say <laughs> he is diabol- it's diabolic or something yes. like that. But... It's like you know how how priests used to do this, like oh shoot shoot, is to for bad spirits. Exactly. Some people used to do this for bad spirits. So, <laughs> yeah, James Dio, uh, he used to do that. Like, yeah, that's. Do you know what this is? Uh, yeah, it's like like now the people say that is the los cuernos del diablo and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But this is actually para los mudos. I love you. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh huh. Mm. Interesting. So yeah, they go like I love you. And that that actually okay, this was rock, and this was hippie. Uh, Hippies did that, you know. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but the two are considered rock. But and now MAS is they they do. I don't know what else. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, and you don't you don't want to know, right? No, <laughs> we but, don't want to know. <laughs> hey, pero nunca he intentado hacer. Yo yo miraba videos. Man, they do this, this <laughs> strange. Yo me quedo, what the hell? Oh, so in, in the way they move their fingers, it's like, how do they do that? <laughs> it's like, <Crazy. laughs> yes. Yeah, so that, that was it. Like, I, I love you. I love oh, you. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so, you, uh, so these are gestures. Remember this one? Hey, este acá si no se usa, huh? Remember this one? Como ma. Yeah. I really don't understand what this means. When when I was a child, uh, we used to do like short stop. Short stop. Yes, we should, we used to say short stop. It was like a game. Oh, okay. Um. There's another one like. Stingy. <laughs> saying codo is like saying you're cheap, tacaño, right? But I don't understand why this. I don't understand. There's there has to be a reason, but I, I don't understand. Y siempre he preguntado por qué, why this, why not, why not this? Because it hurts to uh, open the bag and pay for something. <laughs> oh. So, it's duro de doblar. It hurts to pay. It it's hard hearts when uh, a, a people, a person pays for something. <laughs> okay, maybe. Okay, that you know, you have a point. Good. Okay, so uh, number two, using certain gestures is impolite in some countries. Yes. I think in El Salvador, we are the only ones that do this. Excuse me, where's the bathroom? 
that we point with our mouth. Number three, asking someone's age is often considered rude. Answer is, it's often, it's often considered rude to ask someone's age. I think with Allison, we had that example. In the US, addressing a professor by his or, first, or her first name, it's unusual. Otra cosa que in the United States, like here in El Salvador, a los jefes, el licenciado, el ingeniero, you know. In all Latin America. Yes. Huh? It, it is common, but in US or Canada or Europe, it, 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 it's not okay or it's not normal. Yeah, you just say the name. Maybe, maybe, maybe the only exception is the doctor. Like Dr. Rosales, but if you're a licenciado engineer or anything, just say, hi, Dennis. Hi, Albert. But when they're working. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, hugging friends when you greet them is customary in many cultures. In many cultures, it's customary to hug friends and you greet when you greet them. In El Salvador, kissing the opposite sex. It's considered polite, correct? Okay, let's continue. Asking strangers if they're married is inappropriate in some countries. Is it inappropriate here? Okay, let's continue. So let's do this listening exercise. Listen to the three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? So let's listen to this conversation and tell me, who do you think is speaking? A mother and her son, a teacher and her student, or a woman and her son's friend? Tell me, who do you think is speaking? Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Two. Hey, Jim. Great music. What group is it? I don't know. It's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music, the bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the style's changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. You what? You've got to be kidding me. No, no. 
a lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Hmm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Three. Mmm, Jenny. This is delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? Oh no, George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh yeah. George cooks? You didn't know that? Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with the kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, so in conversation number one, who do you think is speaking? A mother and her son, a teacher and her student, or a woman and her son's friend? The third one, a woman and her son's friend. Good. And number two, who do you think is talking? Two young students, two older friends, or two co-workers? Two older friends. Two older friends. Good. Number three, who's talking? Two cooks, two wives, or two classmates? Two classmates. Two wives. Two wives. Yeah, two, wives. Say two wives. Two wives. It says, listen again, do you remember the story? What closing phrase is used at the end of each conversation? So what... In the first one, it was great to meet you, Pete. The second. It was great to meet you, Pete. What about the second? Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> the first one. The first one? No. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Anyways, I should get going. I'll call you later. Number three, talk to you soon. It was great to meet you, Pete. Anyways. The I first should... one. Let's see. All right, we got them all. Okay, good. So, hey, you know, you know, um, talking about culture, eating pupusas with your fingers is not considered Salvadorian. <laughs> Correct? Yes. Yes, if you are Salvadorian and you see another Salvadorian eating pupusas with a fork, you get offended like Mm -hmm. Or like eating pizza with with a fork. Okay. All right, class. So thank you very much. And tomorrow we'll continue with lesson 1.6. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you, okay. thank you teacher. Thank you. Good Have night. A... See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good teacher.